Pokemon and Minecraft, the biggest media franchise and the best selling game of all time. Crazy to think that Pixelmon was the only real combination of the two for years. But now a new one has shown up. Cobblemon brings Pokemon into Minecraft while making them seem at home in the blocky world. It has around 350 Pokemon in at the moment and more are being worked on as we speak. In this video, I go head to head with my rival to see who will become champion of Minecraft. Our goals are to craft the Master Ball, get a full team of Shinies, collect all 8 Gym Badges, huh? beat the Elite Four, catch at least 100 different Pokemon, Bruh. catch the Legendary Bird Trio, and finally, catch my favourite Legendary, Rayquaza. Also want to say a huge thank you for the support, we have gained 8,000 subs since the Naruto one came out, which is absolutely crazy to me. If you're new, please consider subscribing and enjoy. Day one, we're going to choose our star right now. Oh, there you are. I don't know who I'm getting already. Give me that torchic. Oh yeah. Anyway, Sonny's still suffering trying to get his keybinds down, but let's check out my torchic. We start with Ember, Flame Charge, Focus Energy, and Scratch. Good moves there, to be honest. And it starts at level 10. We got crazy special attack IVs, which doesn't mean shit because it's a physical attacker. Yeah. Also, there are not nicknames in this mod yet, so sadly we can't. Holy oh, shit, no. there's two people. Sonny, this place is doubled up. The generation's fucked up. It's a Pokemon and a Pokemon Center. Is it? Look, there's a shopkeeper and a nurse joy. They're meant mm. to be separate buildings. Well, I guess it's a handy place to start. Who are you going for, Sonny? I'm gonna go for let them. Okay, we both chose oh. fire. Oh, it's so cute. Oh. Litten and Torchic. We then have our first rival battle, but I can't even see Sonny's Pokemon. He licked me till I dropped. He's actually gonna lick, lick, lick me to lick, death. Lick, 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 lick. <laughs> <laughs> he just tongued me. <laughs> Fuck. Uh -huh. That's how it goes. Okay, as we're here, Sonny, we may as well take one of these. And we can, I think we can take the PC too. Okay, obviously our first move here is we need Pokeballs. Yeah, we need Apricots and Iron, or Copper, I think. As Cobblemon is pretty new, I actually have 12 add-ons to make this better. So you see the minimap, the Pokemon icons, that's a add-on. We got badges, legendary structures, Pokemon buildings like them over there. Cries aren't normally in a game, that's added from an add-on. Fishing you can now do and also some recipes and other add-ons with what we've now added. It's pretty full We mine up some copper and yeah, you can just slaughter Pokemon Apricorns spawn on specific trees and have a 12.5% chance to drop seeds for these trees when harvested Bars Apricorns also can be bone mealed. Oh look it's sleeping. Oh, that's so cute I don't know why you're kicking him in this. Whoa, whoa, whoa When you fight Pokemon at night, they will have the sleep status, which I think is a cool touch Day two, Sunny gets some pink apricorns and we make some balls. Uh, Sunny, there's also some Pokemon that you can put on your shoulder that gives you boosts. For example, Joltic gives you haste. Oh, and I God. see a Joltic on the mini map. There it is, there it is, a little thing. That was a crit hit. I think one more scratch. Fuck, I killed it. Crit twice in a row? Are you crazy? Pichu does the same, but gives speed. So I make it my first catch. Let's go. Okay, there's my Pichu. And now if I put this on my shoulder, like so. Look at him. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, I'm not healed up, and I'm gonna go for the Joltic I see. So I now have constant speed and haste. There's a village close by, so I check out the blacksmith, and I get a diamond. Day 3. By the way, there are two ways to heal your Pokemon. Sleeping, or using a healing machine. They do also regenerate HP constantly, but very slowly. This does mean there are no heal items in the game at the moment. Sunny goes and farms Swinub for PZ levels, and I go mining. But when I do, I spot an Eevee on the minimap, and I sprint right back out of the mine. My favourite Eeveelution, and second favourite Pokemon, is Jolteon. So now I'm in search of a Thunderstone. Sunny evolves his Litten already, and this is what I'd say is the biggest issue with the mod at the moment. You can still be attacked while you're battling, but I know what you're gonna say. It's meant to be played in peaceful, so how the fuck am I gonna get a Nether Star? We also make a rule, you can only catch Pokemon within 5 levels of you. Day 4. I find a ditto and I run out of Pokeballs trying to catch it. We have seen two of these already and they're a rare spawn. We didn't manage to catch either though. And then I try to jump into this water stream and miss. Twice. <laughs> the worst part of this is I had a water bucket in my inventory. Some good news though, I find a 5 vein of diamonds. Day 5. As there are no gym leaders in this mod, we are gonna add them ourselves. Basically every 10 days. We're gonna fight a gym leader, which is one of my friends, for a random type. Okay, so here's what our first gym's gonna be. Uh, 
Electric. Okay, we will fight them in five days. I now resurface and go to the Pokemon. I buy some XP candies because I'm a bit behind Sunny. And I then proceed to force feed them to Torchic. Okay, I'm evolving my Torchic now. Combuskin, oh yeah. Double kick, get your ass on. Okay, and as a negative speed, oh. I bone meal some more Apricorns to get more balls. And Sunny starts his hunt for an Alolan Vulpix. These spawn at twilight, which is said to be 4 a.m. on the Minecraft wiki, and only lasts two in-game hours. Day six. No, what? <laughs> I was in a fight. I catch a Zubat, then feed him big and strong. I also make a Lucky Egg, which gives 1.5 times XP. We limit these to only one, because more than one would be way too OP. I catch a Diglett and add it to the team. And Sunny goes to the swamp to catch a Gumi, but has to wait till it rains for it to spawn. By the way, Gudra isn't actually in Cobblemon. There is a specific add-on that adds solely the Gudra line. And Sunny begged me for it. Day 7. Diglett gains 8 levels from 3 Pachirisu. Sunny comes back and we show our starters. Sunny has overleveled his Torcat a fuck ton. We were gonna aim for level 20 for the first gym. This twat is at 28. And then he goes, well, well there were so many swine nubs. Like he was forced to fight them all. What are you talking about? Also, I make a backpack. Day 8. I find a Tepig, and while I'm trying to catch it, Sunny finds a Froakie. Sunny manages to catch his before me, as he gets it in the first ball. And also, that Froakie is level 27 for some reason. I finally catch the Tepig after 9 balls, and banish it to the PC for eternity. Day 9. Here is a Jigglypuff death animation, because I thought it was kind of cute. Then here's my death animation as I get my ass beat by an Iron Golem. Sunny finds a power plant. I wonder what it's for. And as I'm leveling, a Tauros spawns, and it's just the right level. So I catch it to use in the gym fight. Oh, let's go, Diglett's ready to evolve. And there's three of them now, baby. Oh, yeah. Day 10. Okay, it's day 10. It's now time to fight the first gym. And there he is. Hello? Hello? Uh, which one of you is going to fight me first? i am got to admit, I'm quite powerful. I don't know if you know this. Uh, uh, the love, first always uh, is. Remember the name, E11. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Remember the name, E11, alright? What does that I mean? That, I've won 11 battles in my 30 year career. <laughs> I have it on my hat. If I beat you, I'll change up to E12. <laughs> Challenge me, you swine. Sonny 2 hits the Elekid, but then 11 brings out his Pikachu and smooches the talk out. This stun locks her, as she's now paralyzed and confused, leading to Pikachu ending her with a Thunderbolt. Miss Drevis then lays out the Pikachu, and Magneton comes out, but doesn't do much. Sunny wins, and now it's my turn. We both lead with the wrong Pokemon, which is a great start. I flame charge for a speed boost, then flamethrower as my special attack is actually better. Before I get the kill though, the Elekid somehow outpaces me and puts me low. I then get hit with the same move that got Torque at, as I get kissed by the Pikachu. But at least I get a flame charge off only to be paralyzed by Pikachu's static and put back to normal speed. Combuskin hurts itself and also falls to the Pikachu. I then bring the Taurus out and finish the job. With his Magneton, he paralyzes me, so I use Payback, which is stronger when used second, and delete him. Here's your badge. Thanks, man. And I shall go. Remember the name E11. <laughs> he can fly. There, there, there <laughs> I didn't know if that was a gem like that. <laughs> <laughs> I see a goal back. It instantly replaced my Zubat. It's a doggy dog world out here. Day 11. It rains, and Sunny manages to find himself a Sligoo, and I find myself a Scyther. Day 12 to 14. I go mining. Wow! Oh, that didn't do any damage to me. Oh my god, the creeper! What a god! It exposed diamonds! Holy shit. That was a 5 vein, by the way. And I get a Thunderstone. I use the Thunderstone on Eevee, and evolve it to a Jolteon right away. There we go. Oh, it looks sick! I then get blessed again, as I just mine a block to get around this lava and find two more diamonds. I head to the nether for glowstone and find a fortress very close by. I drop 30 rotten flesh and head into the fortress. Instantly run out of food and then to make things worse, I miss the easiest jump possible and leave myself on one heart. While this is happening, Sunny evolves his Litten into an Incineroar. I make my way out, gather some more obsidian and mine to the surface. I then scram some animals and hide under a tree from the demons of the sky. Okay, day 15, it's now time to get the second gym leader. What's it gonna be? Ooh, a bit of dragon! Oh, yeah. Close the door, please. Did you just tax my food! I'll kill you. 
I need the chicken. No, don't, don't, don't go all the way back. I don't have any food. That was my only food I was cooking. Two seconds, two seconds. Oh, <laughs> you're going back in death. No. Jolteon's just chilling under the water. Are you good, my guy? Oh, mm. It's walking on water. Fucking beast. Come on over, Jolteon. Is it drowning? Mm. Oh, it's drowning! Jolteon, get up! Jolteon! Holy shit. Day 16 and 17. I spend most of this time leveling Jolteon in the water. I also catch some cool Pokemon I find though. A Carvana, a Whalmer, a Cloyster. And also I saw a Delmise, but I didn't manage to catch it. I make some Ultra Balls, which have double the catch rate. And I fight a Heracross, which again, isn't actually in Cobblemon. It's crazy that an add-on looks this good, but also has a clean death animation like that. Day 18. I get the whole team to level 35, ready for the next gym fight. I decided to add Cloyster, as Skill Link and Icicle Spear is insanely strong, especially against Dragon types. She is a bit slow though, so I give her a choice cough, which gives 1.5 times speed, but locks them into one move. Day 19 and 20. I search for an ocean monument, as I need prismarine crystals for an XP share. I find one, but I can't get past their trident wielding drowned. Okay, drowned is so busted. I'm sorry, drowned is so busted! Oh my god, I'm on half heart. It destroyed it. Go, 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 go. I was gonna go home now, as again, I ran out of food, but I find a ruined portal with golden carrots in. I get what I came for, and head home. Hello, sires. I am Sir McKnight. Uh, I challenge you. I don't <laughs> challenge weaklings. Let me fight the big man first. Oh, you want me first? Okay, pull up. As you would expect, the plan works flawlessly. With the choice scarf, Cloyster outpaces all of his team and takes no damage at all. The Kingdra did take two turns to kill, but he used a yawn for reasons we can't comprehend. You are worthy of, of the Dragon Gym Badge, and now the little Squire. Sonny smoke screens this motherfucker seven times until he dies. He then brings his Misdreavus out and faints the Dragonair in four turns. The Dragonair did get a hit, even though it had the lowest accuracy possible. Gibble, which shouldn't be a Gibble by the way, KOs with Bite, but is left on 10 HP. And then the overleveled Sligu, which shouldn't be a Sligu, finishes him off. Onwards. On my horse. <laughs> that ain't your horse, big dog. It is my horse. Look, he's look. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's gym number two done. Day twenty one. Me and Sonny both get an evolution at the same time. Mine into Blaziken and his into Greninja. I take a look, and apparently, the best way to get friendship is to have the Pokemon out with you at all times. Golbat is a friendship evolution and needs one hundred and sixty. It's only on ninety at the moment, so we got to get some steps in. We both agree at this point that we should probably not be fighting the gym leaders on a random field, so I ransack the original Pokemon Center for blocks. Day 22. I now make an XP share, make the battleground, catch an Abra that goes into the team, and steal a backpack off an Enderman's remains. Day 23 to 26. For these few days, I be in my catching era, as the kids say. I catch a Gibble, but I don't add it to the team, as I'm not no pseudo-using bitch. I kill a level 47 weird there and get 9k XP. It's basically a free level up. And then I go on an absolute spree. Durant, Torkoal, Mankey, Iglybuff, Geodude, Radicate, Wooloo, Grimer, Dupida, Arachnid, Psyduck, Wooper, Poliwag, Coughing. And then Sunny finds a big reserve of Netherite at the power plant. Okay, day 25, we're spinning the wheel for the third gym leader. Wait, is that. Holy shit, let's go normal. Normal, I'm gonna be the best normal type trainer in the world. And now this is this is the craziest part. Sonny goes mining. Now this doesn't sound too wild for most people, but it is Sonny's least favorite part of the game, and it's half of the title. But I keep going. I get a Pidgey, Yanma, Yanmega, Tatsugiri, which is the only Gen 9 at the minute, Lotad, Bidoof, Magikop, Gyarados, Murkrow, Weird Deer, Nosepass. Sonny gets some diamonds. Gollet. Onyx, and I make a portal in my house, which is just the Pokemon Center at the minute. Day 27 to 29. I spend this time in the nether. Our nether spawn is absolutely terrible. It's in a basalt delta, and every single way is a dead end. I have to mine for 15 minutes straight to get back out in the open. Sunny is now on 13 diamonds, and says 6 of them were 1 veins. Why are there so many 1 veins now? I catch Sizzlipede, Center Scorch, Slugma, Magby, and then a Shiny. Oh, shiny! Shiny! Shiny Ghastly. 
I throw one ball without doing any damage. Oh, it caught first ball? Holy shit. There you go. I got it. I now get some blaze rods and then go to a new fortress as this one didn't have a chest area. The new one did have chests, but no diamonds. On the way out, I run into a mag mortar. And even though it is a bit above the allowed level, we agree as I'm not going to use it, I can catch it. Five ultra balls later, we get him. Yes, let's go! Day 30 and 31. Before we get started with the battle, Sunny seems to turn up with some new armor. Shaq starts with Snorlax and puts Sunny to sleep. He then switches to Milk Tank and uses two defense kills and a milk drink. He then repeats this process until he's on full defense and basically full health. He then rollouts and kills him in two. Next comes Ms. Magius, one hit. Greninja, one hit. And Sligu, one hit. And it's over just like that. Holy shit, that was insane. I'll explain why the fuck that was so strong. So basically, Rollout does 30 damage to start and then doubles every turn after that. But when a player has used defense kill before it, it doubles the damage so the last one would have nearly a thousand base power. It's honestly so disgusting. And I can't be the only one who didn't know about that. Shaq didn't even know about it. Now my turn. Beforehand, I gave Blaziken the choice scarf in hopes that he'd wipe. He did not. I take Snorlax down, but not before he can put me to sleep. He then outrages with Kangaskhan and I switch to Cloyster. Cloyster takes it like a champ and only loses 20 HP. I boost my defense to max and he brings out his milk tank. I've just realized now when editing, his milk tank is now two levels higher than it should be because he wiped Sunny. Now Shaq starts raising his own defense. Knowing that I'll probably never get through this with physical attacks, I switch out to my Jolteon. It does fucking nothing because its best move is Thundershock. He kills me but I get the paralyze off. Blaziken comes out and then Blaziken goes back in. Somehow, after four turns, my Cloyster manages to get the kill. It's now a 2v2. Exploud comes out and Cloyster KOs him in two, but then gets KO'd himself by Kangaskhan. My final Pokemon is Golbat, but he isn't strong enough to get the dub. We both lose to this twat. The saddest part is, I left my level 42 Dog Trio out because I thought it would be unfair. I was wrong, I needed that guy. <sighs> well, what do we do, rematch in five days? Day 32. Today is a very sad day. I do love Jolteon, but what the fuck am I gonna do with that? The only better move it gets is Thunder which has 70 accuracy, so you already know it's only going to be hitting annually. As much as it hurts to get rid of Jolteon, it hurts more to lose. I replaced Jolteon with the Abra I caught. Now we catch some more stuff. Pidgeotto, Ponita, Miss Magius, Miss Drevis, Venomoth, Cricketot, Sneasel. Day 33 and 34. I find a Beldum. You see, these things have the same catch rate as most legendaries and have a move that can kill them. It takes me 12 balls, but I get it before it gets itself. I also catch a Glaceon. Now I just grind some levels, and my Golbat gets its first poison move. It is at level 43, and only just getting a move of its primary type. Whoever they've got on the learn sets, get them off. I add Sneasel to the team, and catch Farfetch'd, which is a rare spawn. Day 35, time for the rematch. Sunny goes first, and this time he hits two Bull Cups, and then one taps all of Shaq's team. I do the same, but just with high jump kick. This move is insanely strong but takes half of your own health if you miss it. Then we spin the wheel. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice one for us. Ice type. <laughs> oh yeah. Time for another rival fight. Blaziken absolutely destroys his Incineroar and also his Greninja, but I get put low as his Greninja somehow outspeeds my Blaziken even with 1.5 times. Blaziken goes down and then I bring out Kadabra for some reason and he dies too. Dugtrio takes him out with the Sucker Punch. Sligu comes out and KOs Dark Trio, but is put low. Sneasel gets the kill. I then Hone Claws and Faint Attack as he paralyzes me and puts me on 2 HP. <laughs> Quick attack, baby! 2 health paralyzed, got the dub. Day 36 to 39. I find a Crobat, but this time I don't replace it, as mine is just a bit better. I find 3 Ice Stones, and by the way, I'm not drowning because a Whooper on your shoulder gives water breathing. I catch a Weavile, and I stumble upon this view. I catch a Charmander. Hello Charmander, level 24, how you doing? Would you like to accompany me? He just fell asleep. My guy. Is that really how bad the offer sounds? Get the fuck up. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, the Eevee just died to lava. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, I caught it. There we go, Charmander. Holy shit, everyone loves Charmander. We decide it's time to build a house. We build it just next to the clip I just showed. We only get the walls done before we gotta go fight the next gym. Day 40. What we're ready, is the gym leader about? 
<laughs> Hello, I'm Gunnar, and I'm back from San Francisco. <laughs> Are you ready to fight? I am the yeah. ice team. Okay, you go first, Sonny. Sonny wins with ease and gets a gift. You know what? Because he did such a good job, you can have the badge and... I heard that the Nine Tails was recently had a letter. It has, so I'm going to give oh. you a little gift. Little gift. Oh. Here you oh. go. <laughs> he just oh. instantly kills it. <laughs> <laughs> I win with these and get nothing. Oh. Holy shit. How's the Maybe. view? <laughs> I am. Oh my god. This ass is just overwhelming me. <laughs> well, uh, here you go. My typing wasn't the best, but. Uh, Basically, the reason we gave Sonny that is because brother has been searching for 30 odd days and didn't find shit. Normal vulpices, which also spawn at twilight, were spawning at like 6 and 8, so there's a chance we were just missing the right time, but when it is not stated anywhere, it's just impossible to know. Vulpix and Ninetales are also the only Pokemon that spawn exclusively at twilight. I feel like this is very fair and not game breaking in any way. Also, the Vulpix is level 1. So my guy got some catching up to do. I now get rid of another Pokemon. Sneasel has to go because the learn set is straight cheeks. The world will be such a greater place when TMs get added. I bring in Carvana to replace. Day 41. I catch a Pikachu, Beedrill, Kikuna and Krabby. My Carvana was easy to catch. So I plan to catch a couple more and then just use the best one. As I'm doing this, a shiny spawns. Oh shiny, shiny, shiny. Pukey mukey Is that what it's called? Yeah, Pukey Mukey. Oh my, there's a fucking trident. No, no, I'm gonna die. Oh, bro, there's a drowned with a trip. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, God. I think we can all agree those fuckers should not do four hearts per hit. And how can they just infinitely whip tridents out of their ass? You could maybe blame me for not having armor on, but f they should not do that much damage. The highest one is also the best one. I can evolve it too. Sharpedo, there we go. It learns slash. Day 42. I finish the roof as Sunny finishes the floor. I also make the enchantment table and place the bookshelves that I stole from the Pokemon. We also trapped a zombie villager, but forgot to name him, so he despawned. I caught a source book as well. Day 43. I catch a Snorlax and the Munchlax on the same day. Sunny finds his first shiny. Is that a shiny? Yeah, I'm a shiny, shiny Wooper. Shiny Wooper, nice. Okay, I got a first ball. Day 44. I catch a Rowlet and he goes straight into the team. Oh, let's go! Go battle Valley to evolve! Wait. Oh, look at him. How you doing, Crobat? Sunny goes back to grinding side ducks. Day 45 to 47. Okay, it's spinning. Oh, fairy! Oh shit, Gengar out in the wild? What the fuck? Let's go, I got him. Then I go mining, and it's one veins galore out here. Also, while I'm down there, I pick up some amethyst shards, which I needed to craft waystones. Sunny catches Sobble, and I catch Alolan Rattata, which is the only other regional form. Day 48. I make it out of the mine, and there is a waystone waiting for me. With my new riches, I make a diamond chestplate. I grind some levels, and Dartrix evolves. Decidueye! Come on out! Oh yeah, baby. He looks swaggy as fuck. No, uh, he looks kind of stupid looking, actually. Also, Sunny evolves his Gudra as it's raining. Day 49. I go get some netherite. I wasn't gonna originally, but if you can't beat him, join him. Plus, I wasn't too sad about less mining. Hey, what's that? What's that? Oh, Vulpix! Oh, you already got your thing. Wait, what the fuck? It's six. Hello, then? Yeah. Crazy if I'm on, though. Let's go. Please don't crit. Oh! <laughs> okay, he's gone. Day 50. Sunny bulks up as Ahsoka sets up a much needed light screen. Sunny then kills in two. Pre Marina comes out and Moonblast Incineroar to half. Just before Pre Marina goes down, he makes sure to put up another light screen for his comrades. Gardevoir comes out and Sunny gives his new Guja a try. Hisoka hits two calm mines and shrugs off Guja's attack. Gardevoir misses four Moonblasts in a row as Sunny keeps lowering accuracy with Muddy Water, but eventually takes him out. Greninja comes out and gets one tapped. And so does Incineroar on its return. Finally, Miss Magius manages to stop its rain. Alcremie comes out, but does little. Hisoka was throwing at the start, and still got Sunny down to one mon. Embarrassing. 
That was hard fought though. You nearly got your ass beat. I accidentally lead with Blaziken, who is quickly fainted by the Sylveon. Now I put who I meant to, and Crobat gets the squad wipe. We also get a Fletcher, so that we can get emeralds for mending. Day 51. I trap a guy and re-roll him for mending. I then gather some sticks and catch my own Sobble, as well as a Vault Orb. We end the day by starting our search for the Stronghold. Day 52. On our journey, my Eevee kills itself- Stop falling off- Eevee just killed itself. And I catch a chest pin. It only takes us a day, as we find the Stronghold. Day 53 and 54. Sunny finds the portal room, Rapidamente. I go in the library and get two Power 4 books and Silk Touch. We only get a one-eye portal, meaning we need more. I make a new axe and upgrade it to Netherite for quick sticks. We then go to the Nether to hunt the final Enderman we need. As we again come out in this horrible biome, it takes us five minutes to mine out. We then go to the wrong forest and I nearly die. Oh my god! Oh. The... I'm the on one the heart. Deal, Why the fuck did all my stuff move about? Gold nuggets were in my normal block spot. After a 600 block parkour map, we make it to the right biome and get the pearls. Day 55. We make our way back home and spin the wheel. Now for the 6th gym leader's type. Spin the wheel. Ooh, ground. Ground. You got ground. I like my ground. I also add power 4 to my bow and dub it the Dragon Sniper. Day 56. I equip a Pidgey and a Pichu for slow falling and speed, and then we enter the end. I take out all the crystals, and then we both die. Pretty poor from us. I then slap a deer and smell some stuff for XP. With the XP, we now TP back, and I won't bother showing, but you guessed it, we killed the dragon. Sunny insta leaves, which means I can get the dragon egg, and eventually, a dragon backpack. I catch the only Pokemon that spawn here, being Behem and Elgem. I now enchant all my shit with the levels we got, and I catch a Weezing. I also add Silk Touch and Mending to my pick, which I call Drillba. Day 57 to 59. So now, we build an Enderman farm. I'll leave a link in the description, because it worked pretty well. However, we did run into a problem. At the time, I thought the game just glitched. But now I see Sonny's POV, turns out he's a fucking idiot. I say... I think that should work, yeah. Now look at them, look at the Enderman. To mean like, damn, check the spawns. But this moron stares them down. Ski? How are they teleporting? Buffoon? Ski? Hide. What? Ski. They shouldn't have done that. What do you mean they shouldn't have done that? To be honest, I do get it though. He just took it literally. After this little mishap, the Endermite dies, and we don't have another name tag. So I just say, uh, you can just come and kill them if you want. There's a fuck ton just that spawn here. Every single Enderman spawn will be here. Just, just go over there and fight them if you want, XP. Ski, what are you doing? Place. What? What? Ski, what are you doing? What? Does not have a brain? I thought like you were gonna put something above you and just kill them. What are you looking at, that sound? What? Are you stupid? He you you said just go and kill them. Yeah. What else do I need to say? I assume there was at least a fucking thing so they couldn't hit us. <laughs> Do you not have eyes? In the end, it's all good though, as we work out an alternative. If you just lock eyes from a safe place, they will drop to the gap for you. It isn't automatic, but it's still insanely fast. Day 60. Sonny makes an 1881 reference. You send this out there. And I was uh. Billy the Kid and you send this to the shootout of the OK Corral. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, acting the fool now. Too young, Ski. Too dumb. Too full of calm. <laughs> is that... Is that really why? Um, okay, we're waiting for the gym leader to get here. Don't know where he is. Oh? Oh. oh did I, so did I make it? Oh, <laughs> hello, gentlemen. <laughs> hello, sir. Are you the gym leader? Uh, I am, indeed. It was a very hard day underground. <laughs> Sunny leaves with Incineroar, who is fainted by a couple of bulldozers. Greninja then kills in one water shuriken. Again, Greninja just edges out Swampert, but goes down to Golurk. Golurk falls. Oh! Guys, it's fallen! No, not Golurk. Oh, oh. And Claydol blows itself up. Are you ready, Mr. Zeski? Huh? Now it is my turn to take you down. Kadabra faints Rhyperia after they have a very touching moment. 
this very sensual eye contact going on. Duh. <laughs> Kadabra and Doug Trio both die to go look. Believe it on 8%. My underleveled Sharpedo then finishes him off, and then dies to Swampy. Decidueye slices him up, and then Claydol again blows himself up. What did you do? You self-destructed, but I'm immune because it's ghost uh, type. <laughs> uh, oh well. It was a brilliant battle, Ziski. Now, I will make my way. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Day 61 and 62. I gather more sticks for emeralds, and when doing this, accidentally make a stack of buns. I then go mining, while Sunny tries to get fortune. I remember watching a video about crawl mining, so yeah, I do that. Day 63. I TP back home, and Sunny gets fortune. From just 19 diamond ore, we get 44 diamonds back. Now Sunny finishes off his netherite drip. Day 64 and 65. Oh, now I have the dragon traveler's backpack, baby. So now I don't take any fire damage, I get water breathing, regen, and strength at all times, and and fire res and night vision too apparently so yeah this backpack's pretty good okay time to spin the wheel for the seventh gym leader let's go spin the wheel oh he's gonna be happy about this one it's steel uh, i also make an enchant a sword as well as the rest of my armor holy shit i got perfectly enchants on both of them easy day 66 i seal some bookshelves and then do some grinding with gym six we didn't actually up the level at all as we didn't have time, but now that the dragon's done and we're not busy, we're back to it. Sunny gets full mending and discovers Elgem drop chorus root, which means we can get link cables and evolve our mons. He gets Electivire and I get Alakazam. Boom. He's got two fucking spoons now, baby. Day 67. I just spend the entire day leveling and manage to get the whole team up. If you play this, I find Snowworms are the best to level in. Weird as Stantlers and Mammoth Swines give fucked ons. Day 68 and 69. This was a whole lot of stick getting and enderman killing. Okay, I also made an enchantment table over here so you don't have to go back and forth. Found a plusle. Sunny slides into the void. Oh my god, Skir just fucking walked off the edge. Oh. <laughs> and recommends the swamp. Fuck the snow, Skir. I'm a swamp man. <laughs> Slow but consistent growth is this guy, so. And. The snow is fast and consistent. No, no, no. You're building a weak foundation. Those foundations are going to be tested one day, Skrim. I don't know. I think uh -huh. those will be found lagging. Oh, Sweeping Edge, I got it. Okay. Also, you might have noticed that I've been keeping an Eevee on me this whole time. This is because we were going to have a goal to collect all the evolutions, but the friendship takes so long. After around 50 days, we still didn't have enough, so we just gave the dream up. I'm looking now. And you can actually find them all in the wild, but they are ultra rare. Day 70. It's now time for the seventh gym fight. Sonny is now taking on this fucker called Steely. Steely the goat. Steely He's a questionable fella, but I mean, somehow he got in the position of gym leader. Mm. Mm. Stop twerking now, Sonny. Okay. Sonny leads with Electivire, and Shrak insta switches out into oh, What the fuck is that? This doofus sends out Excadrill. A Pokemon not in the mod. Thankfully, it gets instant knocked out. Aegislash comes out and does absolutely nothing. As Sunny Thunder Waves gets the paralyzed stun and faints with two fire punches. He then repeats his method, one tapping the Lucario and two hitting the Empoleon. Okay, so I Thunder Punch. Booyah! like the last wave dump. My turn. To start off, I miss a high jump kick, putting me to half health as he swords dances. Blaziken then gets finished by an Aqua Jet. Well, my, my main threat is now gone. Decidueye takes Empoleon, but is left low and killed by Aegislash. I use Crunch, but it doesn't work as he uses King Shield. This move protects and lowers your attack by one stage. That is an insane move, and I didn't even know it was a thing. I thought he was just protecting. Even with my attack lowered twice, Sharpedo manages to take out Aegislash. I switch to Doug Trio and use... Earthquake! And I hit a lot. <laughs> That's the Doug Trio, baby. That's the Doug Trio. He couldn't win, so he brought out the extra deal that's not even in the game. Still gets one tapped. Easy. Give me that badge, bitch. At seven down. Only one more to go, Sonny. Day 71. We now have another rival battle. Doug Trio bests Miss Magius with a sucker punch. Greninja comes in, and I keep Doug Trio alive and switch to Decidueye, who one taps with Leaf Blade. Leaf Bladed? Goodbye. Slice them up. 
Oh, it's a goo. It's a goo. Da da. Okay. Okay. Noob. You took him down. You took him down. Noob. Noob. Oh, okay. Okay. I hear you. Blaziken puts down the silly beast. Muddy water. Dropped. 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 And the other one too. Seven percent. Oh, but, but he, we got the thunder wave off. Oh no. On the pond. Oh, it's not enough. Blaziken falls to the third silly beast, and Crowbat avenges him. There we go. And that's goodbye. Uh -huh. GG noob. Sunny then begs me for an XP share. Give me an XP share, please. What do you say? Please, so who's better? Please, he's better for the moment. Uh, just just take out the last bit. Skis better. Uh huh. Okay, I can work that out for you. Actually, I'll just give you mine. I'll just make my own one. There you go. Enjoy, big boy. Very generous. Very mm -hmm. generous. I upgrade Drillba to efficiency five, and complete my sword. That's a hone edge right there, brother. That's a hone edge. Okay, it's got sharp four and breaking three, <laughs> spinning edge three, looting three, mending, fire stock two. I could not be bothered to get sharp to five because it takes so long. But yeah, there we go. Holy shit, this kills so fast. Day 72 and 73. I catch a Torchic and a Growlithe. And then make some baby villagers. Give me a bed, whore. Thank you. Whore. Oh, I'm getting fucked by this villager. Jesus. Whore. Thrusting me. Wow. What an experience. After weeks of deforestation, I finally get mending on all my gear. Bro, what? The mending villager? Unlocked another trade for mending? <laughs> what What are the chances? It's just more expensive now. Fuck you. Day 74 and 75. I made my way to the outer end to try and get an elytra, as I'm going to need to travel a lot very soon. What the fuck kind of spawn is this? W what? I'm nowhere near anything. After bridging for 150 blocks, I make it to the mainland. The first end city I find does not have a ship, but the second one does. An amending prop 4 helmet? What the fuck? That's near perfect. Holy shit! What? 12 diamonds? What? Holy sh- Bro, why did I even enchant shit? You can be perfect diamond armor? It has mending on already? Oh my god, what? Okay, I can now leave. All I wanted from here was an elytra. Off we go- Oh, I'm floating. Okay, now to reveal the 8th gym leader. Sonny, say it. Spin the wheel. Ooh, dark type. Because I gave Sonny the XP share, I need to get another one. I'm gonna land on the glowstone and get it without falling to my death. Okay. Ready, people? Fuck, I fell to my death. Ooh. Always bring a Pidgey with you. Because sometimes you don't hit it quite right. And you go tumbling. You go tumbling. Now that is perfect. It only worked because I had a Pidgey. Fuck! Chorus fruit is such a pain. Holy shit. Okay, I've now made my another XP share. Day 76. Sonny evolves his Vulpix into a Ninetales. Ninetales. Holy shit, that's a mid Pokemon. I get some sugar cane and gum powder to make fireworks. Just blow up a creeper on my swamp, Sonny. It's my swamp. That was your many years. I've been hunting side dog in these, side dog in these parts since you and me hide the grass bumper. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Me high to a grasshopper? Uh, like, that's one way of saying it. For a grasshopper? Do grasshoppers have knees? <laughs> Day 77 to 79. I level all my Pokemon up to 60. I make three stacks of fireworks and then set off to find Moltres. It spawns in the Mesa or Badlands, so I use my nature's compass to locate it. While on the search, I stumble across the resting place of Rayquaza, but I don't go up just yet. When flying, my Elytra breaks. I never knew that it just gets left on one durability, unlike everything else in the game. And I've used these multiple times before. It's a great feature though, because without it, I would have had to go back to the end. Anyway, I get a quick top up from the Enderman, and find what I was looking for. Okay, I think I found it. This is the spawn structure for Moltres. I also donate some diamonds to the Broke Society, as Sunny needs a new sword. While on my journey, I caught Maractus, Cubone, Arbok, Sandshrew, Ekins, Dwebble, Spearow, and a Crustle. Day 80. Hello, are you the 8th gym leader? Yes, hello. I know it sounds like I'm a budget Yoda, but I promise you, right? This is a unique voice. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, okay. Uh, dark type, right? Fine. Uh, yes, I am a stand-in. Before we start, uh, I I am strictly a priest, so normally violence wouldn't be my thing. But you look like a devious AF. <laughs> fight me. I may have had to fight him twice because I forgot to record the first one. Don't mind the time hopping as we re-recorded the intro after Sonny's fight. I have not touched the move sets. I believe in the Lord's. Gifts. What? You didn't touch the move sets? The Lord is gonna gift me with the winning hand. Yes. Oh. These moves fucking suck. Sonny uses only nine tails and beats all of his Pokemon off. It's a good fight, though. Your mom is a good fight. Now I rematch the priest. I one shot his leading Raticate. Greninja comes out, so I throw out my own Water Dark Pokemon. Sharpedo got hit to half on his switch in, so he lost the 1v1. Next, I bring in Crobat, who drops the Greninja as well as the Umbreon with Leech Life. Honchko, oh, it doesn't work against this one. We'll go with Acrobatics. That did a bit of damage. Be quicker, Honchko. That's all they gym badges done. Thanks, man. I mean, I don't know how they. how the most important one can get here, but I mean, I'll take it. Day 81. We need to get a nether star, so I make my way to the nether and find a stronghold in a soul sound valley. This is because pigmen don't spawn here, meaning more spawns for wither skeletons. Hello, fellas. Oh my god, that's one already! Holy shit. To gather all three heads, it only takes me eight minutes. Looting three is crazy. Day 82. Before I fight the wither, I want to have infinity. I enchant maybe 50 books before realizing. You know, I'm stupid as fuck. This would definitely be easier to just combine two bows. I get it on the fourth bow and combine them to make the Wither Slayer, the evolution of the Dragon Sniper. Day 83, we fight the Wither. Watch out for the initial exp- huh? What? So it requires air blocks, but you can spawn it in bedrock? How the fuck oh, Sonny, go, Sonny, go, run. This boss was pathetic. For me and my comrade, this was child's play. And I know a thing or two about playing with ch Anyway, we slapped the wither, so now I can make a master ball. Oh, and look what I can make. A fucking master ball, baby. Holy shit. It matches my fucking- my colour set, too. At this point, a new update comes out for legendary structures. This makes it possible to get Xerneas. However, as we've already been playing on this world, it will only spawn in new chunks. Sunny now sets off to find it. Also, while I'm searching for Articuno, I catch Ice Q, Avalug, and Bergmite. Day 84. I go into another cave, but see something strange. Ice. Ice underground? This has gotta be it. There we go, there we go. That's money. That's fucking money, baby. Okay, I'm in. I found it. Let's go. And I actually have the stones for this one. There's something written here. It says, Four sacred flames. Turn them blue. Extinguish the fire with the power of frozen stone. So I think I use the stones on the campfires, I guess. No, throw it. Oh, there we go. If you throw it on, it turns it blue. Ooh, a Pokemon landed nearby. Please don't die. For the battle, I bring Jolchon back out and it does insanely well. It manages to paralyze, then whittle it down to 33%. 16 Ultra Balls later, we get him. There you go, let's go, legendary bird, Articuno, being caught. Yes. Day 85. We already know where Moltres and Zapdos are, but we are missing some evolution stones. Time to go mine for them. These ores most commonly spawn between Y64 and Y192, so higher up, the better. I'm looking for a Firestone, which spawns in biomes with the desert and sandy tags. I find an absolutely massive opening in the desert, and after exploring every corner of this, I come out with three fire stones. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, is that another one? Please. Firestone? Yes, I got it. Day 86. I only needed three, as Sonny kindly gave me one he found. Four stones of fire. Offered before the four totems will summon the Phoenix of Fury. Ooh, lightning strikes. That's cool. Third one. Oh, it set the Geodude on fire. Poor guy. Oh shit, the fire's spreading. Oh no. The Phoenix of Fury is burning down the surroundings. You want? Bang. A Pokemon screen from a pie. Hello, Moltres. How you doing? Big fan. 
Okay, send out the Jolteon first. Thunder wave that hoe. Okay, 48%, 48% from the Jolteon alone. Random Gengar I caught, you can do some damage, I guess. Holy shit, it put it on six health. Gengar chill. 15 balls later. Oh shit, that took a while. Thank you. This leaves only Zapdos, who I need three Thunderstones for, as I already found one. I set my compass to windswept hills and set off, but run out of fireworks on the way. I catch a Bound Sweet, Weedle, and the Sucker Tro- I mean, Bell Sprout. Day 87. I arrive in the windswept hills, and you'll notice there's stone on the surface. This means ores can also spawn on the surface. Oh, there's a Thunderstone! Yeah, oh, it's a double! It's a double trouble! Oh, for fuck, there it is! Oh my, I've got them already! Holy, there's a, an extra one too! Holy shit, I got all four- FIVE! Another one in sight? Oh, baby. Okay, well, that was a fun trip. Holy shit, that was easy. The shopkeeper here has a trade I've not seen before. He sells extra large and rare candies, but they are pretty expensive. I buy two to test them. 30k each? Holy shit, he went up four levels! Oh shit, there's a Machamp here. All the fighting fellas love fucking around in the mountains. I also catch a Machop, Lopunny, and Tyrogue. I bring Snorlax this time. As Paralyze doesn't work against Electro-types, I'm gonna make Zapdos go night-night. Here we are at the power station, and all I need to do is throw these stones into these generators. Okay, I'm more and I left my Thunderstones at home. Stupid ski. Stupid. Left them in the comments. As I was saying, we throw these in the generators. Oh, and that one's powered on, there we go. Something landed on the roof. Now who would that be? Zabdos, how you doing? Chocho went down, Snorlax comes out. Hit the yawn. He's drowsy. He a drowsy little boy. Body slam him. Please don't kill him. Ooh, okay, good. Okay, Zapdos fell asleep. Now he's asleep on 31%. Now this is this is money. This is money. It is cash dollar, baby. Second ultra ball. Oh, yeah. Come on, Snorlax. You're the king. Oh, look at this big boy. And that is the whole legendary bird trio caught. Easy peasy. And here they are. These zombies ruined near my fucking shoot. Day 88. I've now arrived at the sky pillar and I will now scale it to find Rayquaza. And who is that waiting at the top? That's a zombie. Fuck. Why is there a zombie? Why is there a creep here? And then guarding Rayquaza. And a Q-bone too, I guess. Ray... He nearly fell off. Okay. Thunder wave that bitch. Oh, he got one tapped. No thunder wave in sight. It's gonna one tap everyone, though, isn't it? It's level seven, though. It's used outrage. I, I think that will kill everything. Oh my god. Crobat. Crobat walks out here and acrobatics is bitch in the ground. Okay, that did like 30%. It hit itself in confusion. Oh, wait, it, it might kill itself. Wait, what am I doing? I have a fucking master ball. Get in there, bitch. Yeah, why is fine. Uh, what am I fighting this for? <laughs> Bows on me now. Yes, let's go. Oh. I nearly let him wipe my team when I had a master ball. <laughs> that leaves only the Elite Four and the champion ahead of me. Now I help Sonny look for Xerneas. Day 89. Oh, that's a new one. That's a new one. We got a new one locked down. Locked and loaded. Holy shit. No, you can't be you can't be serious. Day 90. To summon Xerneas, you need a totem of undying and a dawnstone. While Sonny searches, I get a totem. He's having a kerfuffle underground. Even further below me, there's no way. How did you get down here? Bro, is it negative 11? What the fuck are you doing? I only get the one. Hero of the village. Oh my god, they love me. Yeah, EPA. Fireworks go off. I'll fucking nab them if you don't mind. I need a fly, mate. I also make a cute display of all the gym badges. Day 91. Sunny finds Xerneas and deleted his footage of it. There's a tree of light, is this it? It is 3,000 blocks away. This looks like the place. The signs here read, Hold the totem that turns death into life in the left. Hold the stone that shines bright like dawn in the right. Left arm. Totem in the left. Oh! oh. Knows. He catches it in three Ultra Balls. Holy shit, okay. Yeah. So now you have Xerneas, I have Rayquaza. Guess it's just time to level now. Xerneas replaces Ninetales on Sonny's team after you raised it from level one. As a gift from Gunnar. Day 92 and 93. After legit 15 minutes of consideration, I get rid of Crobat to make way for Rayquaza. It was the obvious choice, as it's the only overlap, but I really liked Crobat, and he was my only counter to Xerneas. Then I get the whole team up to level 70. 
Day 94 to 98. The final step to ready myself is to give all my Pokemon items. First, I go for leftovers and have no luck. I legit chopped five stacks worth of trees down, realized you can hoe leaves, then broke a full netherite hoe doing just that. I then even go back into the stronghold to see if we missed anything as they have a high chance to spawn there. I do find seven, but still don't get lucky enough. <laughs> what was that? I think there's somebody at the door. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's off, he's off in the wind. He's off. Well, what did he give you? I think he took the doll with him. <laughs> Fuck. Can't have shit in the try there. I'm go with two of those. Dear Zewski, it has come to our attention that you have collected all eight of the gym badges. We would like to invite you to come and test your might against our elite four, who are the strongest in the land. Come to minus 7,416 to 412 negative. We await your arrival. Safe travels, the Pokemon League. Okay, I guess that's the plan. Why is he behind me? Sorry. <laughs> I was reading over your shoulder. <laughs> Sunny leaves for the league. The reason I stayed behind is I need to get me some items. I don't have anything on anyone. What I'm looking for right now is a choice band. Okay, choice band, the Doug Trio. This motherfucker's earthquakes are gonna hit so hard, and he's already pretty fast. Next, I'm on Alakazam, and I'm thinking, if he hits one car mine, he can probably wipe. So I'm gonna give him a sash, because he's faster. He's the fastest on the team, easily. I need a bit of wool, and I don't have any. But if I go over here, you can just shear wool and get tons. It may prevent. Oh, that's not good. Well, I guess we take, I guess we take those. I give Sharpedo an assault vest, as he doesn't have any status moves, so he just gets extra special defense. I give Decidueye a spell tag to boost ghost moves, Blaziken Charcoal to boost fire, and Rayquaza a rocky helmet to get some chip damage. Our team is now complete. That fucker does not fit in here. Day 99 and 100. Oh, is that the Pokemon League up on the hill? Okay, I'm gonna set off on my journey now. It's 7,000 blocks, but I have an Elytra, so I'll get there way faster. Only 100 meters. Oh, I see it! And we have made it. The Pokemon League. There are four rooms. Which one? I guess it's only right to go right, isn't it? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> we meet again, Mr. Ski of Zeef. Do I know you? Do you not recognize me? The man you, your life, my life you ruined? You might know me as a different name from what I go for now. Mm -hmm. I used to be called E-11. Of course, of course I remember E-11. Yes. You look a bit different though. Yes, yes, I've updated. I've changed my typing. Electric, I figured, wasn't quite working mm -hmm. after my 30 years and 11 wins. So I've been playing for 80 days, 90 days maybe. I can't quite count. But uh, I've been, and I've already got 100 wins, bitch. 100? Had my mom, yeah, had my mum knit me a new hat and everything. Give me a pick. Like it. Wow. Yeah, look at that. You mm -hmm. really came up in the world. Yes, I've also been baking pumpkin pies. You want any? Uh, I'll yes. take I'll take some if they're free. I'm I'm quite a baker, but any yes, I've been training and baking pumpkin pies. So this won't be an easy fight for you, believe me. It certainly wasn't for your friend Sonny. I nearly beat him. No matter Wait, what Sonny's already beat you. Oh god. Uh, yes, it was a close battle. I got him down on one Pokemon. Uh, he he just beat me though because he had a ghost type. And it kind of ruins my entire strategy, but... Oh, really? I, it was a close, yeah, it was a close battle. But anyway, okay. fight me, and I may let you pass. Oh, fuck. Oh! Big dick damage. Oh, but I got oh. you first. And you know what this guy is? You know... He's a little one of them ghost types. Ah, but I... You threw him out first, which is a, a poor move. You think? Oh, shit. <laughs> Please, don't hurt my Pokemon. Fire spin! Oh shit, out yes. paces me. Oh. I should have thrown this guy out first because he's fire. Why did I send a water type? It's okay. Oh. It's okay. The trio's here. And they're here to stay. Goodbye. Ooh. God damn. I've been training these for years. Lucario also <laughs> steal. He's not gonna he's not gonna like this. What? You're fast! How are three dicks faster than Lucario? They are rapid. 
Yeah. These dicks know no equal. Oh, fuck, oh. killed me. Yes, I got another kill. Well, I've been saving Alakazam. He's the real trump card against the the fighting types. Ah. Oh. Well, it was a close battle once again. Put up my best showing. Eh. Uh, here you go. Here's my last possession. Thank you, brother. It was good no seeing problem. you again. But you're not getting another yes, number yes. on that hat. I'm gonna sink more into depression. <laughs> okay. Guess we just go for the next one. Is anyone in? What the fuck is? Hello. Hello. Sorry, <laughs> been busy in the mines. Um, that was an entrance! Uh, hello, how you doing? Oh yeah, um, Cleavo's just looking out, so no one steals the diamonds like some other fella did last time. Uh, oh yeah? His name. He, was, he was quite relevant. This is quite a setup you got going. Yeah, we've got barrels. Uh, I mean, that's not the thing I was talking about, yeah. but sure, that's cool. So what, what, what are you doing here? I have a guess, Buster, I'm here to beat your ass. Oh, no, Liquidate Cleavos. this fool! Cleavos. Liquidate this fool! Cleavos still in the boat. No. <laughs> he's, he's chilling. Oh, he's on three. Oh, he did some damage to me though. No, Cleavo. Get out of that boat, brother. Oh my star. Oh, that's water though. Oh my star, the girl. How is my water gonna do on his water? Maybe not too good. Did you? I got that four times though. Oh, he's it's raised good. his. Oh no, he shell smashed. Oh no. This Omastar is now looking dangerous. Oh, he died anyway, though. Okay. <laughs> Omastar, nice try. Big chunk but, of damage, though. Uh, See how much Elite Blade does. He, he helps me uh, smelt him. Oh. It's a good inf infinite source of fuel. We might fall here, sure. but we'll get some damage off. Oh, 8%? He didn't even kill me? That one did hurt, though. I'm on 16%. I think I might die. Oh, well, <laughs> he got the sturdy. Well, we got He's two of them very low. Sharpedo's coming back out, though. He wants more. Gone okay. goes down. My car goes back just to get taken out again. This one, this one scares me a little bit, so I don't know how you're going to be feeling. He's a... Uh... Big nose. No! He missed! He missed me! Oh! And Sharpedo gets the... Gets no. the... No! Probo pass. Incredible well, stuff. For your victory, minecart? Um, yeah, I'll take a minecart. Souvenir. Thanks, man. Got a uh, minecart on a boat now. And there's two down. There's someone waiting in here. Let's go see him. Hello! Welcome. I'd like to see you try and clip my wings. <laughs> okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. He used Tailwind! He got the speed boost! Oh, you were freak for that! But you fall in one. Oh. This tailwind has set him up. Still, he slept me. Oh wait, this brother meditating. Holy shit. Okay, I've been tailwinded and sleep out. I guess I'll bring Ken out. He used Quiver Dance, yep. which boosts. Holy shit, Nelly! Everything. This man is crazy. It one tapped me. Oh, I'm fighting. I forget about that sometimes. Oh, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it, but I guess I'll bring him out. I had this. Oh, I had this little guy. Shit. <laughs> Just casually. I had this guy hanging about. God of this guys. He's chilling. He's a cool guy. Now if I use one of those um flying moves against you. Oh no. Uh goodbye. Seven percent shit. No. That's an aerodactyl, okay. Th this paralyzer is 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 him. It's him. Does it want up? It missed! I missed. Oh, I yeah. missed the thunder fang. Okay, we're gonna get crazy on here. Okay, we're gonna get crazy on here. Outrage. Outrageous. He wants at me. Fuck. Fuck, he's faster? Oh, he really took a hit there. Uh, Zato, my goat. Zato, more like Shatu. Fuchsia Sight? Oh, he did some damage though. Rest in peace. Good doing business, brother. Three down, one left. Hello? An executor. Mm, two grass types, two grass types. The mine has the advantage. Oh, and it's gone in one. Alakazam, this boy is fast. Shadow Sneak would obviously be faster. Wouldn't do enough damage though. I'm gonna have to take one hit. What the fuck does Telekinesis do? He's cooking something, I just don't know. Now this is a problem, I cannot hit him with my ghost type. 
Very clever, very clever. Let's get out of here, boss. The trio is back. Holy shit, they nearly got wiped. No, 3%? Fuck! No, the trio falls. Okay, Blazer, get a, get a fire charge in there. Blaziken is a terrible Pokemon to use right now because this is psychic, but he has a speed boost now. So maybe I can outpace. Another fire type. Oh, the Blaze Kick does that much? Oh, he's a crit. Oh, okay. And Gallade comes out. Blaze Kick's looking like the one for me. Ooh, he put him on 30. He puts me on two! But I got the, I got the pace. I got the pace on him. Oh, let's go. He fell in between Blaziken's legs. I don't know what they're doing. And that is the fourth. I leave four down. All the lights are on. I guess... I guess I go to the next room. Sunny? Okay. What are you doing you here? you those peons, have you? Hmm? Well, yeah. Useless things. One and all. Are, are you my next challenge? Sunny? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, Skate, I've tasted the food one too many times with your hands. Uh huh. It's time for vengeance. Bring out the puny Pokemon. Blaziken. <laughs> he thunder waved me. Wow. Ah, I really hurt the speed. I don't need speed against this fool though. Fuck it, par the paralyzed hit. I didn't move. Oh no! <laughs> He'll go down just like the rest. These three heads have got something to say about it. Oh no. Oh, the ninja. The ninja. Oh know. shit, he won't tap me. How is he faster? Fuck, that guy's rapid. <laughs> he has a super effective move. Doc slaps me right now. Please don't. Please let me get the grass. Let, let me get the leaf blade. Oh, yes, I got oh, it. Shit. Fuck you. Goudra. Ooh, the gooey boy. The King gooey boy. Dragons. I guess it's only right if I bring Sharpedo out. I was lying, fool. Dragon pulse. Fuck, no <laughs> way! How did you know? No, no way! No, did, you, did you know he- I said Sharpedo! <laughs> I, I, do you know how he is? Oh, Gudra's way too strong. Oh. <laughs> this Gudra is a Alakazam. monster. Mm -hmm. Alakazam, yeah. And Dragon Pulse. How does he have that much bulk? I can't mind it twice. <laughs> Vengeance will be mine. For too long I have lived in your shadow, Yosuke. <laughs> now it is my turn. How does it outpace fucking Gudra? How fast is this freak? Oh, Gudra finally falls. But not the worry, Ski. The strongest are still to come. They are. Zinnius, <laughs> oh fuck! Greatest among legendaries. <laughs> no. Horn Leech. Oh no! No! <laughs> I fall at your feet! Wait, what the fuck? Why is there like 10 of them? Let's go through here, son. Go through here. You wanna read this? Well done, you're not champion of the overworld. We <laughs> got wiped. It would be very <laughs> sad if lose. Well, it was a good fight, Sky. It's a fitting end, you know. The rival wins for once. I got out of the shadow. I guess, yeah, you take that one. Yeah, Sunny beat my ass. Looking back, I could have done so much better, but he can hold that W, because that guy needs it way more than me. Crazily enough, this was the only rival fight that Sunny won, and it was the most important one. If I counted right, I caught 124 Pokemon. Bruh. We did fail the shiny goal. We both caught one, and I fumbled one. By the way, this is old max odds, so it's 1 in 8192. I'll link a video on how to get the add-ons working in the description. If you enjoyed, check out some of my other 100 days, and drop a sub if you made it this far.